Hey guys, um, so this morning I want to talk about humility and I'm going to be using this book. This is called uh, the Bible Promise Book and it's based on the NIV version. I'm not a fan of the NIV version. I may do a video about that in the future, but that's not what this video is about today. But this particular book, it gives you sections or scriptures based on <clears throat> certain topics. So you can see like the topic up top and then it turns around and it gives you like other, you know, uh, scriptures based on, on that particular topic. But the topic this morning is humility. Um, because that's something that I've been trying to examine myself to make sure that I am showing humility in my walk. Um, for someone who has, you know, dealt with like self-esteem issues, I talk about it in my book, shameless plug, um, <laughs> available on Amazon, link below. Um, but yeah, I talk about that in my book where I'm trying to, you know, grow or I was trying to grow in self-love and you know get out of that box or that hole that I was in where I felt so lowly of myself now that things are starting to happen for me in life things that I'm like super proud of I've started wondering I'm like am I overly proud am I you know not walking the way that I'm supposed to as as a Christ follower and you know I've been sort of praying on that and I was talking with a friend of mine you know that's like my favorite tagline I was talking with a friend of mine and I was asking her I said is it are you lacking humility when you say I want to do something big in life I want to be remembered for something super huge and she was telling me about an app that she was using and the app was based on losing weight but it actually applied to the situation that I was going going through you know when I asked her that question and she said the particular app it was um, asking you well, what is your main purpose for losing weight well why is that the reason and is this really the, it was like some type of breakdown or hierarchy of how you ask yourself the question. So I used it and applied it to me. I said, okay, so I really want to do something huge in life. I want to be remembered for doing something huge. Why do I want to do that? I want to help people. Okay, well, why do you really want to do that? And when I really kind of went down the, the ladder, I was like, the reason why I feel that way, the reason why I want to be remembered is because for so long I felt like I was nobody. I felt like I wasn't important. I felt like I was small. I felt like God wasn't using me. So going through those steps, it helped me to to see, well, Patricia, that's why you want to do something so big in life because you felt so ignored, you felt so small, and you want to leave this earth doing something big. And it's, so, okay, here's the thing. I would say if you are wondering, okay, is this me being prideful or am I being humble about this? I feel like, you can ask yourself the question, who's getting glory out of it? Who am I benefiting? Who is really the person behind what it is I want to do or what it is I'm showing or what it is that I'm posting? And that has been able to help me um, as, you know, like I said, things are opening up. Things are, you know, beginning to happen for me. And I'm like, well, God, I don't want to be too proud. I don't want to be braggy. You know what I'm saying? So this is why I want to talk about, um, and I know I'm like, okay, four minutes into the video, like read the scripture already. Okay. <laughs> so Matthew 18 and four from this book, and I'm going to just get it from here, but then I'm going to switch to another item, which is my cell phone. I'm going to read from the Bible app on my phone. Um, and I'm going to go all the way up to verse one. Uh, Matthew 18, starting at verse 1. About the time the disciples came to Jesus and asked, 
who is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called a little child to him and put the child among them. Then he said, I tell you the truth, unless you turn from your sins and become like little children, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. So anyone who becomes as humble as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And I'm like so blessed to be able to find that scripture this morning because it's an extra reminder. When you are thinking about what to post and what caption to put, or if you're thinking about what you're doing in ministry, are you doing it for the benefit of yourself, for the benefit of money, for the benefit of you know, putting yourself on a pedestal or are you doing it truly to grow God's kingdom? And are you like a child in how you are doing that thing? And, you know, this is going to be something that I add to, to my list. Like, God, you know, am I doing this because I want people to see me or am I doing it because I want people to see you? And in this scripture, it just makes me... I guess think of what a child is like. A child is innocent. A child is pure. A child, you know how they they sometimes they will ask the most random, off the wall type questions. You're like, they're a child, and it's so sweet. It's so funny, and it's like they're innocent in all of their questioning. They're innocent in all of the ways that they play, that they're learning about themselves. And that's what I want to be. I want to be humble in the ways that I share, in the ways that I walk in ministry. And when I start, and that was one thing, when I start to see things happening for me, I pray and I say, God, do not let me get like, Maylee, I'm recording. Can you move before you... <laughs> Can you move? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Um, <laughs> okay. What was I saying? Okay. So, but yeah, I just, I want to have that prayer that I don't fall into a sense of pride as these doors start to open. I want to always remember where I came from. I want to remember the low place that I have been. And even in I can't remember. I think in another video I haven't posted it yet, so be on the lookout for that. But I recorded another devotional where I was talking about the thorn um, that Paul had. And and I believe that was in like 2 Corinthians, so I'll be posting that. But in in the scripture, he says the thorn humbled him. You know what I mean? It's like the thorn humbled him. So this thing that God asked him to remove from him God wanted to keep it there so that Paul would recognize God's strength in that weakness of him having that thorn. So that's another thing that perfectly ties into this devotional this morning about humility. Like my low place or my depression, um, to me that's my thorn. That's one of my thorns and I feel like it helps me. It will help me to remember when I do get to an elevated place in ministry. Not saying, you know what I mean. Once I, I gain more exposure in ministry is what I mean. Not elevated like, oh, I'm better than you. Like, <laughs> that's not what I mean. But once I get to, you know, a more recognized place in ministry and I begin speaking more, um... I want to always remember and I will always remember that low place, my thorn. It will humble me to remember, okay, Patricia, you are here now. You are being elevated. God is calling you out from your dark place and I have to humble myself and say, never get so high on top of that mountain where you think you won't trip and fall. That's what I got to remember. And going back to my, my question that I posed to my friend, it's like, why do I want to be so big in life? Why do I want to be remembered for doing something great? And I truly have the answer of it's not because of pride. It's not because of, oh, I want to be seen. You know, yes, it does originate from a place of, oh, I felt so low of myself and I felt so small and I felt so unimportant. But the thing is, out of all of that darkness, out of all of those times where I felt so low, 
there is so much peace and joy that I have because God brought me out. So it's not about, oh yeah, look at my video and look at, <laughs> it's not even about that. It's like, I'm sharing in my pain, I'm sharing in my journey. And it's like, I've also prayed, God, don't let me look at the numbers. Cause sometimes I do get discouraged and I'm like, I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking about God. Why aren't people watching this? But then I had to remember, and my mom reminded me, Trisha, it's not about the numbers because I still get one or two people that will say something and that's what feeds me. That's what keeps me going. That's what, you know, and, and like I said, I want to be reminded to be humble. Stop looking at the numbers. So, so many times in church, and you know what? See, let me stop. Because y'all know how I get in some of these videos. It's like I start talking and I go off like on a tangent. But yeah, I don't want to get to a place where I lack humility, where I'm all about pride. So I will end with this. I will end with this. When you are struggling with humility or you're trying to wonder, God, am I doing this for you or am I doing this for me? Remember to have like the scripture says, it says um, in verse 4, chapter 18 of Matthew. So anyone who becomes as humble as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. When you are doing something, no matter what it is, re, you know, ask yourself that question. Am I doing it for God? Am I doing it for me? And am I walking as a child? Am I walking in innocence as I'm doing this? Who's getting the glory out of what I'm doing? So I hope this devotional has blessed you guys. And, you know, just stay tuned for all of the, the things to come. Amen.